tonight, and the head of Miami's Fraternal Order of Police relieved of duty a temporary restraining order against him, and it all began with a traffic stop made by a civilian on a police officer. CBS 4's David Sutter spoke exclusively with the woman who filed for that restraining order. David. Rick, this is quite the drama. On one side, we have a woman claiming she's in fear for her life. On the other side, we're hearing accusations that this is a beef between the president of the Miami Police Union president and a candidate for Miami's city commission. The story starts with this video that went viral last year. The reason I pulled you over today, I just wanted to know what's the emergency. Claudia Castillo recorded pulling over a Miami-Dade officer for speeding, in which he apologized. In the days that followed, Miami Police Union President Javier Ortiz took to social media, blasting Castillo, posting her phone number and address, and encouraging followers to call her. And they did. Ortiz's action prompted internal affairs to investigate. After 10 months, they found he violated the rules, but only reprimanded him. Tuesday, Miami's civilian investigative panel, which looks into police complaints, found Ortiz guilty. They, too, could only publicly reprimand him, but Ortiz and his victim, Castillo, were at the hearing. When Castillo went to leave, she claims Ortiz followed her. He is a lunatic with a gun and a badge, and that's why I fear for my safety because, you know, I don't have a gun or a badge. I don't have anything to protect myself with, and the people right now that are supposed to be protecting me are in his Speaking to us by phone tonight, Castillo explained she had no choice but to get the restraining order. This scared the crap out of her. It was obviously harassment. He was intimidating her. Danny Suarez, who used to sit on the civilian investigative panel, says he escorted Castillo out. He claims Ortiz was doing everything he could to mess with her. He's an evil man. He will attack you left and right. This is a guy who tried to boycott Beyonce, for God's sakes. The next day, Castillo filed for a restraining order, which a judge granted. Ortiz forced to turn in his badge and gun while serving death duty. Today is just another attack on, on him because he's a strong uh, leader for his men. Ortiz's attorney denies any harassment. In fact, he alleges this may not be about Castillo at all. CBS 4 has obtained this 2012 Miami Police Incident Report, which says an intoxicated Suarez confronted Ortiz outside a club. The officer writes that Suarez shouted profanities at Ortiz and, quote, I'm going to get you fired. So th is this not about a woman, but perhaps about a man's vendetta? We're going to investigate that. It certainly is a lead we are going to follow up on and that report explains a lot. Suarez says he has no recollection of that conversation, that the report is fabricated. Castillo maintains Suarez had nothing to do with her restraining order and everything to do with Ortiz. I have reason to fear, you know, and, and nobody had to coach me for me to feel the fear that I feel. And now Ortiz is sidelined till April 5th, however, his attorney has filed an emergency motion, so things may move up very quickly. Stay tuned. In the city of Miami, David Sutter, CBS 4 News tonight.